well today we'll discuss about uh, nested structure variable a structure variable can be used as a member of another structure in that case the structure which is containing the structure variable that structure is called a container structure and the structure variable which is being contained by a structure that structure variable is called a nested structure variable now I'll show you some codes where we'll use this nested structure variables here we go hash include So this is a structure, it has only one member and that member is a character array name having a size of 50 characters. I'm just going to declare another structure. It has a member marks which is floating nature and this is a structure variable and this is a structure variable of which structure this structure that means the structure exam is containing a structure variable Therefore, this structure exam is the container structure and struct student is here. S is the structure variable. I'm forming another structure. Here we have a member role So you see this structure result is another container structure which is containing a structure variable E uh, which is the structure variable of structure exam So here structure exam was a container structure as it was containing a structure variable s which is a variable of structure student so this was a container structure and another container structure we have here that is result this result is containing the structure variable of the structure exam that means a container structure variable may be a structure variable of another structure so here it is now I'm just constructing the main method so here I'm declaring a structure variable of a result structure that is R
Can you just uh, notice this thing that uh, Marx is a float type variable? Marx is a float type variable and it is a member of the structure exam. Therefore, to access this Marx, we need to have the structure variable of exam structure and exam structure variable is E and that is declared as a member of the structure result. Therefore, if we reach here in this structure, then only from here we can get uh, the structure variable of exam structure, which is E. Therefore, while entering the value, first we have to go to R, then we have to go to E, then only we will be able to access this variable marks. I hope this is clear. Similarly, now I am just going to enter the uh, name. So, you know, to enter the name, we have a structure member that is name and it is a member of the structure student. But when we will reach here, for reaching here, we need to have the structure variable of student structure, which is declared inside exam structure. That means to get the structure variable of student structure, we have to reach to exam structure first. But to reach to exam structure, we need to have the structure variable of exam structure and exam structure variable is declared inside result structure so first we have to come to result here we have to collect uh, the exam structure variable e then using that we will reach here in exam structure here we will get the structure variable s which is the structure variable of student structure then using this s we will be able to reach to name therefore while entering the name uh, first we are going to R, then from R to E, then from E to S, then using S we are entering the name. So this way we have entered the value. So now just we will simply display the value. So print Let's uh, save it. Compile it. It is not showing any error. Let's check the output. 
you see here it is asking for the roll number so I'm giving a okay marks it is missing the name you know the reason very uh, clearly that what we need to do for this so I just missed that one so before entering the name what we need to do uh, already I have talked about this one std a flush stdin to refresh the input buffer now once again I'm just saving it compiling it and executing it roll number say marks name now you see the name is Rohit Agarwal roll number is this marks I have displayed up to two decimal places therefore 67.78 so I hope uh, nested structure container structure uh, nested structure variable all these concepts you have got thank you